Okay, we got something. If you've read the title of this video, you're probably well aware of what's in here. So, I'm just going to get straight on with the thing. I'll try to open this. It's packaged well. My new camera. So let's see what we've got in here. Well, the CD, we're not going to be using that. Charger, obviously. Ooh. A little tripod. Some AV cables. Something. A HDMI lead. And of course, the camera itself. Probably won't be using any of those discs, but you know. After all, this apparently has Movie Edit Pro Trial on it. Well, I've got some much better free video editors that I could use. Like Shotcut. And an outdated version of Adobe Premiere. And this is what it's like. I don't know what that orange pipe's doing here, but this is what it's like when I'm trying to watch TV. When it's sunny outside during the winter. Yeah. Makes things really difficult. Don't know if this has any charge in it. Yep, we, we seem to be fully charged. Can I get that in the shot? Well, I'm trying to plug in the charger now, and don't you hate it? When they have it oriented this way, I mean, look at that, I cannot plug this in because this bit at the top is getting in the way. I'm trying to, yeah. Oh well, I can charge it off the charger from this camera, so that's no, yeah, no, that's no big deal. Okay, so, this is currently charging. And when this is fully charged, the next clip you're going to see is going to be shot from this very camera. Okay, well, me being the complete brain-dead idiot that I am, I decided I'd take this camera outside and do a little bit of filming. And guess what? I forgot to put the SD card in. Fortunately, though, this seems to have about 64 megabytes of internal memory, so, um, yeah, we still got something. Right, so here we are, doing some outdoor shots, outdoor footage. I'm not sure if you can hear me because there's a bit wind, so if I can hear it in my ears, I'm sure you can hear it on the camera's mic. Now I've got a pause on this camera, so I'm going to pause the recording and unpause it when I get here. Just for the sheer heck of it. This isn't going to be one of those out and about with Clem videos. This is just like a test footage, basically. Oh, because another old trashed bike. Seeing a lot of those just lately. Okay, I think it's still recording, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I'm taking some footage outside the shops. This will be a good opportunity to test how, how well the digital zoom on this thing works, so... Just like the zoom. And that's about how much recording time you get with 64 megabytes. Now I noticed that the sound on this, although it wasn't the worst I've ever heard, it's pretty tinny and um, it's very low as well. In fact, I had to boost it quite considerably in order to get it the same level as it is on this camera, which records nice and loud. I'm going to do some indoor shots now of my workbench, which I've painstakingly cleaned up. I'm going to use this camera, and this time, I'm going to make sure there's an SD card in there. Okay, so 
here I am doing a panning shot of the workshop with the new camera. And I think this 30 frames a second is going to be a lot better for um, my YouTube videos. And up here we've got the scope and everything. Also, I'm going to try a few different resolutions on this camera. This right now is the full HD resolution. Nice thing about this is I'm not going to have to de-interlace the videos. Not sure how good the focus is. But anyway, let's try HD 720 now. Or HD 60 as this camera calls it. So this should be 720p at 60 frames a second. I can see that on the camera's LCD screen the frame rate is a lot higher now. So, let's try... Well, let's play this back and see how it went. Okay, well, that was a bit of a disappointment. The sound I can fix, but... I don't know what I'm going to do about the focus. And I tried it on macro shot as well as normal, and... You know, they were either too far one way or the other. Although, I've got an idea. So, you see the switch here to switch between macro shot and normal what I think that does is I think that is directly mechanically connected to the lens so if I could adjust this so it's so somewhere in the middle like put it maybe like that I think I might be able to focus this camera so I can do Cool Dude Clem's electronic workshop with it. Let me just see here. Oh yeah, I can actually see the little lens in there moving when I flip the switch. I don't know if you can. It's a very, very small movement. You might be able to see it, you might not. Yeah, so I'm going to try that. I think it's time to try to adjust this focus and see if I was right. Now, I've got the camera connected up to my TV so I can see a direct feed from it. I'm going to try adjusting this little thing and see if that can, if I can actually get the focus any better. Oh yeah, I think we're going to get somewhere. It's just about right and then I'm overshot. So I was right. Now I've got that beautifully focused. Right, so let's make sure nothing moves about when I do the thing. Right, okay, so this is the best picture quality I can get from the new camera. And this is the best picture quality from my old camera. And here for comparison is the quality of my really old camera that used to go. So here we are, everybody. Three generations of Cool Did Clem's Electronic Workshop. Or at least, the cameras. So, on the left here, we have what's left of my old Speed HD camera, you know. The one that used to go... <coughs> and have that weird thing where it would keep going in and out and in and out like that. I don't know why it did that. And then there's my camera that I've been using up to this point. And now the new camera. Which, as you saw in the previous clip, has a much sharper picture than this one ever did. So, um, I guess that's just about it for this video. And until next time, goodbye. This is take two. So this is the best quality picture I can... <clears throat> oh, that's weird.
When I move this, the rest of the picture moves. 